know what it is, man. Another bit, another reaction. We got the top 10 rarest sneakers, part two. You know, part two. I promise y'all to do part two. We got part two, you know. Um, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. I ain't gonna hold y'all in this video. Is that them Yeezy? Yeah, them the same Yeezys. I was talking about the one video. I seen a couple. Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra. Some rare enough. shoes debut with a high price tag. Others are originally priced modestly, but quickly rise in value enough. due I mean, to high cool demand. Whenever Yeezy's in the title, you gotta get your feet in a pair quickly. Yeah. Unless you're willing to cover the price of inflation. This limited edition zebra print model, retailing at 220 bucks, had Yeezy collectors going crazy in 2017, selling out in minutes with no restock in sight. Damn, Though they no are restock at all? Secondhand dealers online, their authenticity is difficult Stock to guarantee, not that. and they now regularly sell for over <clears> triple <throat> their original price. Authentic. Forever waiting for the next restock alert. Them is ugly Number as shit. Number four, Nike Dunk Low Pro SB Paris. Ooh, I would wear Good yeah. art is expensive. Seven racks. Art on sneakers is no exception. Damn. Bear the one of a kind design from French painter Bernard Buffet. Them is This hard. edition of the Nike Dunks was as much a work of art as it was a pair of running That's shoes. That's like an anime type With dunks. only 202 hard. pairs ever produced. Hard they become two? one of the rarest and most sought-after shoes on the market, attracting collectors with both the unique design of the shoe and the simple fact that they're so rare. We're not sure if you're supposed to wear them or hang them on the wall next to your Monet. Bo I always confuse Monet and Monet. But at 10 grand a pair, you are going to want to get these puppies Damn, in Seven shoes. racks and 10 bands. Number three, Nike Air Jordan 4 M&M X Carhartt. When great minds come together, you get something beautiful and rare. Celebrating the 15th anniversary of Eminem's record label, this shoe was a collaboration between the artist, Nike, and the Carhartt Clothing Company. Designed with a retro look and with only a limited number produced, the shoes were released through an online auction, selling out in record time. Now only available through second-hand online retailers, the shoes regularly sell for tens of thousands of dollars, owing to the high demand and rarity. Shoe Authority Flight Club has historically priced their pairs, when available, at between $18,000 and $30,000. Number 2. Nike Air Yeezy 2 SP Red October Though the collaboration between Nike and Kanye West was short-lived, it produced some of the most sought-after sneakers the world of athletic wear has ever seen. Bright red and never released in retail stores, the Red October models have not been restocked since 2014. They sold out in seconds due to the anticipation surrounding their release. Nowadays, they regularly sell for between five and seven thousand dollars, but have gone for ten to twenty thousand on numerous occasions. These particular Yeezys are off limits except to the most diehard of sneakerheads. But if you've got it in the budget, they make a one-of-a-kind addition to any collection. Damn. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one, Nike Mag. I, I knew it. I knew it was going to be these ones. I had a feeling. Culture icon. These sneakers were inspired by the 1989 hit Back to the Future 2. Our laces, all right. As the kicks of choice for Marty McFly when he traveled to 2015, Nike decided to produce a limited number of the shoes. Released in 2011, the sneakers sold out in minutes and were extremely difficult to find aside from online resellers. In 2016, Nike released a self-tying version of the shoe that was only available through a lottery. It became one of the most in-demand sneakers ever produced, winning over collectors and movie fans around the world. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo. Yeah, number one I do agree with. Them is tough. Not everybody can get them. I want the Mark Wahlbergs. The Wahlberger uh, Jordans. I think they're the Retro Fours. I want them.